good morning students today we are going to learn life cycle of animals and in that we'll be particularly learning about the life cycle of a butterfly metamorphosis it is the word it is this term that we use to explain the life cycle of a butterfly butterflies of various shapes and beautiful colors are a part of our environment they live their life among plants as butterflies grow they pass through four stages so the butterflies grow in four stages first eggs first they are eggs second they are larva third they are pupa and finally an adult now the adult stage is called as the butterfly now let's take an example of the plain tiger butterfly to see how the growth of a butterfly actually takes place firstly the female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed rui that is leaf in 6 to 8 days the larva emerges from the egg now the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar what is a caterpillar the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar when the caterpillar comes out of the egg it is very hungry it begins to nibble and eat the very leaf on which it emerges from the egg it eats very fast so the growth is very rapid so let's recall the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar so when the caterpillar comes out of the egg it is very hungry and now it begins to nibble and eat the very leaf on which it came on and since it eats very fast it is it has a very rapid growth now the caterpillar of the plain tiger butterfly grows so rapidly in the first to th uh, first two or three days that it does not fit in its skin anymore but under the old skin a new loose skin is formed on the growing caterpillar thus then the caterpillar sheds the old skin that is it molts so what do you mean by molt molt is a term that we used to refer to shed the shedding of the old skin to make way for the new growth so till now what we have understood that the female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed leaf in 6 to 8 days the larva emerges from the egg please note that the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar now when the caterpillar comes out of the egg it is very hungry it begins to nibble and eat with the very leaf on which it emerged now since it eats very fast its growth is rapid now since it is growing rapidly in the first 2 3 days it does not fit it will not be able to fit in its own skin anymore so it has developed an a new skin and then it sheds the older skin so what do you call this shedding of older skin it it means to molt again it begins to gobble up the leaf and continues to grow rapidly in 2 or 3 days it molts a second time in this way it molts four times it remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days how many times the caterpillar molts it molts four times and what do you mean by molt molt means to shed the old skin to make way for the new growth now just before the last molt the caterpillar weaves weaves a button of a silken thread on a stalk or a leaf and hangs itself from it when it molts this time it forms a pupa which is the next stage of its growth so after so after larva it goes to pupa stage the pupa of a butterfly is also called as crelasis it remains inside the crelasis for the next 11 or 12 days it does not eat anything during this stage 
please note that the pupa of a butterfly is also known as chrysalis and it remains inside the chrysalis for the next 11 or 12 days and in this stage it does not eat anything however inside the chrysalis important changes takes takes place in its body the growth of the plain tiger gets completed inside the chrysalis then the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it now has four attractive wings and six long legs all butterflies go through these stages of growth now i'll recall of what has happened till now now the female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the leaf then the larva emerges from the egg the larva of the butterfly is called a caterpillar now it the caterpillar comes out of the egg and it is very hungry so since it's hungry it starts nibbling and eating that leaf from where it emerged on a uh, which it emerged and it's it 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 eats very fast so the growth is very rapid now since it is growing it has to shed its older skin so it has to shed its older skin so since it is in two or three days it molts a second time and we know that it has to molt four times okay and what happens just before the last molt just before the last molt the caterpillar weaves a button of a silken thread on a stalk or a leaf and hangs itself from it and when it molts this time it forms a pupa which is the next stage after larva and the pupa of a butterfly is also called a chrysalis now it remains inside the chrysalis for the next 11 to 12 days and in this time it does not eat anything in this stage important changes takes place in its body the growth of the plain tiger gets complete completed inside the chrysalis and then the other uh, adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis now do you know for each type of butterfly the type of plants on whose leaves its females will lay eggs is fixed for each type of butterfly the type of plants on whose leaves its female will lay eggs is fixed the time the larva takes to emerge from the eggs is different for different types of butterflies there is a great variety in caterpillars different types of caterpillars are of different colors their body is long many types of caterpillars are hairy also so here you need to note that for each type of butterfly the type of plants on whose leaves its female will lay eggs is fixed and second the time the larva takes to emerge from the eggs is different for different types of butterflies do you know after we have cleaned the grain we buy we store it in a box even then when we open the box after some days we may see some insects in it there can be insects in the grain stored in places like warehouses in the grocer's shop or even in our homes now if a female insect lays eggs in their grain we cannot see them because of their tiny size the warmth and air they get in the box in which the grain is stored is enough for them to grow so their growth continues inside the box they also have the same stages of growth namely egg larva pupa and adult when we open the box we see the insects in the grain at the different stages of growth in which they are now what have we learned till now a hen sits on her eggs to hatch them the fully grown chick break, break, breaks the egg shell and comes out egg caterpillar none other than larva chrysalis that is pupa and adult are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly the plain tiger butterfly lays its egg on the leaves of the milkweed plant the larva emerges from the egg and it is called a caterpillar when the growth of the caterpillar is complete 
it enters the pupa stage during which it lives inside the chrysalis now the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis and it has six long legs and four attractive wings always remember that butterflies are a part of our environment and it is wrong to catch butterflies just for fun and to keep them tied with a string so make sure you never catch a butterfly at the end we have a question for you in the worksheet itself where you need to write this write the answer to that question in a notebook click a picture of it and post it on a whatsapp group have a nice day children thank you